Hello, I'm Richard Hooper and this is Sat TV Week. Now I'm pleased to be joined by Haddy, who is the Group CEO of North Telecom. Haddy, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. You've been celebrating 10 years of successful operations. What have been the highlights? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, North Telecom uh, is being a 10 years company and we have been uh, very honored to achieving a lot of milestone for the past 10 years. Uh, I think every and each year is becoming a big milestone itself because uh, we started almost from scratch from Dubai and then with finding our office in Singapore, in Germany. Uh, now we have also acquired two other companies uh, in Malaysia and uh, you know some other part of the world. So we had uh, achieved a lot of milestone. I think all of these years it was a milestone itself, you know, but uh, very particular the biggest milestone we have achieved with our uh, valued partner was uh, creating a very uh, popular broadcasting hotspot in the region, in Middle East, where we have over uh, 85 million uh, viewership right now. And uh, we were been also awarded of the provider of the year back 2015, uh, together with uh, your life, you know, uh, as a service provider of the year. So it was a milestone. Now you've made significant investments in Asia. Why is the region so important? I remember uh, three to four, year, uh, four years back, everyone was uh, talking on Africa becoming emerging market. But uh, we have seen uh, the market is not moving very, very well. So uh, we, we were having a very big eye uh, on Asia because also everyone was keep saying that Asia is a very very emerging market and I think it was true because uh, we, we have been able to uh, you know to go to the Asia market uh, especially to uh, countries like Malaysia we have acquired uh, Scoptel and Scoptel uh, leveraged uh, North Telecom toward energy sector oil and gas so uh, this was the main reason that uh, we went to this uh, you know, region, which is uh, really a really emerging market. We are, we are seeing significant growth in this market, and uh, we are also having oil in other uh, countries uh, in Asia, like Philippines, Indonesia, Bangladesh, uh, some other countries you know, in that region. And we keep investing on that region. I think uh, it has, uh, we, we have been able to do the significant growth uh, from, from this particular region. Now you're very diversified compared to other service providers. How is that helping you in this market? Uh, I think this question, I really love it. Every time everyone asking me, I think it is our speciality. Why North Telecom is being a diversified market? Because we were believing that, we, we knew our resources and we were believing that. Uh, relying on one specific vertical, uh, it may not be very reliable. You remember what happened back mid of 2013, the oil and gas market went through a very turmoil and turbulent moment. So North Telecom, even from 2013 up to now, it has uh, grossed its revenue, profit, uh, same time, because we were not relying on one market. We were not relying on only, only oil and gas market, you know. Uh, we were been working on broadcasting vertical, we were working on telecos, uh, uh, broadband services, etc. You know, So that is why North Telecom is uh, being so much diversified. Because we believe uh, in terms of revenue, in terms of profit, we should not rely on one vertical. You know, And also we don't want uh, basically uh, to focus on the one vertical due to the expertise we have in-house. Uh, we have different different expertise uh, in-house for example in maritime service in oil and gas broadcasting you know so i think it was a very very good decision we are one of a very few players in the market satellite service uh, providers that we are being very very much diversified and we keep continuing to be diversified you will hear very soon uh, some news uh, will be announced from north telecom very soon in the market that uh, north telecom uh, most probably uh, is announcing a different divisions uh, on, on different verticals.
Okay, we look forward to that news, but in the meantime, looking at the market segments, you're very diversified, but what key trends are you seeing in your segments at the moment? I want to be very honest. Uh, we are very, very strong in telecos, in broadcasting, in broadband services, uh, but we have not uh, made significant uh, progress on uh, maritime service. So we are very, very much focused. We see this market is uh, having a very potential uh, uh, basically growth and uh, we definitely will focus on this market and we are seeing a very good future for this market so that's why we are right now North Telecom is focusing to invest on this particular uh, you know segment uh, which is uh, maritime so again you will hear very good news uh, right after the end, end of the year that uh, we will come with some uh, very interesting uh, news in the market how we are progressing on the uh, most especially in capsat uh, most probably you know we are uh, we are going to announce our own maritime services yeah. well after that bit of news looking forward how do you keep going keeping ahead of the game yeah uh, it is also a very very interesting question this is one of uh, my favorite subject as well uh, we never stop investing we never stop uh, growing you know and i think this is also our uh, key success one of our key success uh, we again we started from scratch but we are very glad to mention that you know we had uh, done a tremendous growth for the past uh, 10 years uh, and we keep continuing on the same direction even though the market is uh, shrinking right now but we are very enthusiastic to uh, continue on the same growth path because it is very in line with the corporate uh, vision and mission as well. You know, our corporate vision is being global provider, and I think uh, with having an office in Europe, Middle East, Asia, and I've also mentioned in the past that we have a big eye over the U.S. market. So I think in the midterm we would be there. I mean, we would be in United States. So if you want to ask me that what I expect from uh, basically from North Telecom in, in the midterm. Uh, we will continue on the same direction, we will continue on the same growth paths, but at the same time uh, we would be in the uh, US market as well. Adi, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.